it's Hannah Shackle and I own Dream Bakes Cafe in Doncaster Town Centre and I wanted to share three books that made me. So first one, James Runcy, The Discovery of Chocolate. It, it combines two of my favourite things, food and history, and it's the sort of novel that I would love to write. So on the face of it, it sounds really hokey. It's a conquistador who goes to South America and discovers chocolate. He drinks a drink that basically makes him immortal and he by coincidence he ends up following the sort of journey of chocolate from um, Mexico to it being like a mass-produced bar um, and it sort of deals with love and loss and life and death and everything has these really sensual descriptions and it's it's the way that I feel when I read it is how I want people to feel when I when they're eating the food that I've made so that that's why I love that. Second one, Okasai Nicolette this is a book that I did in fourth year, in I did French, and it's, I, unfortunately I had always loved food a bit more than I loved French, um, but while I did my degree, that's kind of what I was working out, like that's how I realised what I wanted to do, and, um, but yet in fourth year I started reading, uh, I did a course that where we had to read medieval texts um, in French, and it was really when I started enjoying my course and that sort of feeling of being really engaged with what was being taught to me um, it really made a difference in how I sort of saw my oh I've got some there's some I'm gonna this is me in fourth year on my graduation day <laughs> I didn't even know that they were in there actually that's quite cute <laughs> um, and yeah I think it's really interesting to see that um, there's this side which is the medieval French and this side is modern French and it's really interesting to see how um, it progressed. And then my final one, Kafka on the Shore by Murakami, it is a weird book. It's a weird book, like most of Murakami's stuff is, um, but it really kind of sums up this point in my life. So in my third year of uni I was working in a patisserie in Nice and so I was up early but then by three o'clock I was lying on the beach and n relaxing, napping, talking to people and um, I wanted something to read and there was a, a bookcase with with books on and I asked my, my flatmates, um, can I can I borrow one of these, is that okay? And they said yes, picked this one, don't really know why but it changed how I saw books and how I saw writing. Um, I don't know if, it, like, I could read any writing of Murakami's and it puts me into this meditative state even when it's shocking, graphic, disgusting, like this there are some pa uh, passages in here that are about um, dissecting animals and things like that, even when it's super weird like IQ84 it just, it chills me out and like I say it's like a form of meditation and it changed what my perception of writing was I've never, I never ever have experienced any books like this before or since. But um, is one is my favourite author, and it's the reason why I've got loads and loads of his books upstairs. And uh, I mean, you, you can even see there's sun cream marks on the spine on the pages. <laughs> and when I hold it, it's one I often take travelling. When I hold it and I open it, I'm instantly taken back to being. Um, full of excitement and hope and learning new things and basking on the beach in Nice and I feel like that's something that people need in their everyday life, me me especially. Thank you so much for listening. Um, we have a book club on uh, the first Tuesday of every month. If you're interested then just head to our website. Alright, thank you!